Hey guys, John Rettinger here, and I want to give you a demonstration of Bing, Microsoft's new search engine, and show you how it compares with Google. It seems like I've been doing a lot of videos about Microsoft products, software, and hardware recently, but they have come out with a lot of really interesting things the past couple days. Bing was announced last week, and it actually was just announced today in a preview beta form. Today is June 1st. So the address is www.bing.com, B-I-N-G, and that's right where I am now. And this is the home page that you're greeted with. It certainly is a nice looking page. You got some graphics in the back and you can click on certain things here that'll show up and give you more information. All the images and stuff are, uh, are hot linked and it'll say what they are. So what really matters is search. So let me go ahead and give you an example here of how search works. So I'll go ahead and hit, let's say Los Angeles Lakers. Hit search, and you get really your simple search engine results. Nothing terribly fancy there. It'll pull up some of the most viewed results. It'll break them into categories, which is actually relatively interesting. So here it's general Los Angeles Laker results. Down below, it's Los Angeles Laker cheerleaders, Los Angeles Laker tickets, rumors, roster. So it really breaks up the search into search categories, which is very interesting. And on the left-hand side here, you'll see it shows some related searches, which is also very neat. The categories that are broken up to, broken into, are also displayed on the left-hand side in the top. But let's go back to Bing again and show you what else it does. So it also searches images. It does a relatively nice job of it. So we can search just Lakers. I'll show you what image search looks like. Just pulls up standard images. Now one interesting thing that it does do is it searches video. So we'll type Lakers again. We'll go over to video. And this will pull in video from a ton of different sources, including YouTube. And it'll say right down below where that video is coming from. So right there, it's coming from the NBA, ESPN.com. And if they're YouTube videos, it'll also pull in YouTube videos at all. As you can see right there, as you move your mouse over one of the videos, it actually does start playing, which is very cool. I'll show you that again. And there I've got the volume muted so you can't hear it, but you can see the video is playing. Something that is actually a very neat feature. So let's do a head and search for John for Lakers. And you can see that these are some YouTube videos that I've done or some mentions that I've been in. And you can see that YouTube comes up here and plays nice and easy. So here's my, my old intro. Move your mouse away and that's done. So we'll go back. And you can also, same with shopping, news, maps, and travel, same sort of similar search results. You can search whatever you'd like, and it'll pull it up for you. If you just want to do news and you click on it, it'll pull up the most recent news. Maps, you can type in your location, and it uses Microsoft Live Search to pull up your map, and also give you some nice, pretty eloquent directions. And the same thing for travel. You can type in a location, and you can search for travel deals or dates. It's kind of like a built-in Expedia type of client. It'll pull from a variety of different sources. But the big thing that I care about is searching and how good and accurate the search results are and how does it compare against Google, which I use all the time. So let me go ahead and give you a head-to-head -head comparison of how this stacks up with Google. We are head-to-head -head with Google.com. Really, whichever one you like that looks better is going to be a personal matter. I actually like the way Bing looks with the images in the background, and Google is very simple and classic, and it's become very iconic of Google. So let's do a similar search that we did before. Let's search for Lakers. And we'll search for Lakers in Google as well. And you'll notice you get the same results here. The, you get news results on top for Google, and down below you get the official site of the Lakers, Wikipedia. And you get sort of the same thing here, although the first site you get is the best match, the home page. You get some Lakers scheduling, which is very nice, telling you that the games that are coming up and the games that just happened. Forums and news, and Wikipedia is down a little bit below. So one of the things that I use Google for, and I know a lot of you use it for as well, is actually a, a spell check. So how does Bing handle spelling errors? Well, it's summer vacation, a lot of people are on holiday, so let's type in holiday, but let's spell it wrong. Two L's for holiday. And it pulls up results for Matt Holiday. Not the holiday we were looking for. Let's check another word. Let's type in Friday. It's my favorite day of the week. Did you mean Friday? Yes, we did. Go ahead and hit it. And it'll pull up a whole list of things for Friday. Let's try the same thing here with Bing. 
through Friday and actually automatically corrects you. Results are included for Friday. It doesn't ask you if you want to correct, which is very interesting, and it breaks it down by categories. In the day that I've been playing with Bing, I have to say I'm very impressed with it. I do like the categories, although the search results do not seem to be as accurate as Google's. You can see right here I've got 1 through 20 of 225 million. On Google I've got 548 million. So at least right now Google is pulling up almost double the results, at least in this particular category. Certainly Bing will catch up to that, but it's got a long way to go. So my thing, if you need to search, I'm still going to use Google, but I'm going to keep giving Bing a shot for other maybe non-spell check related searches. I think it's a nice engine, I think it has a lot of potential. So what do you guys think about Bing? Are you going to use it? Does it interest you? Or you have no interest in it whatsoever? Leave your comments down below. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.